G'day adventurers, welcome back to the second episode of Adventure Rigs here on Every Road Adventures. In this episode, we're going to go and have a walk through Todd, good mate of mine, and his 2012 Holden, Colorado. Right, so, Toddy, tell me, what have you done? Have you done anything inside? A uh, few things, not, not too much on the inside, mainly more on the outside of the car. So you want to run us through some of the things that you've got in here and that you've done? So I guess the first thing that's first uh, under the bonnet is a small little um, yellow top battery which is uh, 45 amp hours um, that powers a few different things in here so wired up the uh, unit and um, what do you call it then? UHF UHF <laughs> wired up that so it can obviously run unassisted from the vehicle. Uh, I've got a few um, meters here to tell me what amps were pulling, what bolts were pulling. I've got a spare oh, auxiliary tank for the diesel, so 35 litres um, that's custom into the back of the tray so I can just hit the uh, switch there and it siphons into the main tank so extra 35 litres can get you out of trouble, which it has before. Yeah, I didn't try to modify it too much. Yep. Um, ends up costing the world and you don't want to spend too much yeah. on the inside of the car when all the gear's on the outside where you inside. want it to be. All right, well, speaking of outside, we might go and have a bit of a look outside the car. Let's have a look at our, the bar work that you've got around here. This is a bit of a special bar, this one. You want to tell us a little bit about this bull bar? Uh, yes, yeah, so good mate of ours, Tom, from North Big 4x4, hooked me up. Um, so it's a uh, Iron Man. 12 bar with a 2016 loop. Um, got some rock sliders on that? Uh, yeah, they're custom made by myself. Yep. So, um, Love custom made. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kings driving lights, 9 yeah. inch? Uh, yeah, they're 9 inch Kings. So I went with Kings, a lot of the stuff for Kings, so um, including the um, winch, winch as well, yep. so, which has actually been pretty good. It's, it, they're good quality stuff for the, for the price. price. Yeah. yeah. So not can't complain at all. Yeah. And just the Uniden um, aerial antenna just to match the yep. head unit. Yeah, to go with the head unit, so yep. get a good, good range of that one. So. Um, bash plates? No, I don't have any bash plates. Oh, no, just do, standard tin, tin covers? Yeah, I don't do too many extreme stuff. So. Let's have a look at this snorkel. So, it's yeah, snorkel it's is definitely not your standard safari type snorkel. No, no, it's... Uh, J-Max engineering snorkel so yeah purchased online and uh, comes as a kit and with instructions and stuff so I'll put it in myself cool. um, yeah a bit nerve-wracking cutting through the garden and stuff but uh, actually come up really well it's yeah. pretty sturdy and it doesn't get uh, doesn't get too much water or anything in the top when it's raining or anything. Yeah. four inch pot yeah Wheels and tyres, Toddy, what have you got on it? Uh, so the rims, we have uh, the CSA Raptor rims, yep. um, 17 Same. inches, and we've got the Nido Trail Grapplers, uh, 265 70. Yep. Um, I didn't want to go too big, obviously, we're only pushing a 2.8 litre, so yep. not a lot of power there to get us going off the mark, so we just stuck with that size, which seems to be good. They're yep. a good tyre too, they're nice up the bush and they're quiet on the roads. So. Yep. Suspension, what's it sitting on? What's What have you got? Uh, yeah, so I've got uh, the AFS suspension on uh, both front and rear. And two inch lift? Yeah, two inch on the front. Yep. Um, which sits it at a good height. And I've got the two inch on the back on the leaf, but I've uh, yep. got an extra 400 kilo. Yeah, constant load. Yeah, yep. so for when I put the canopy on it, yep. it um, sits quite nicely on the road. So. Yep. Speaking of the canopy, I think this is where the magic is, down the rear end on the tray and the canopy. That's where the action is. Well, let's go and have a look. We'll start with the tray. I did have a tray on it when I bought it, but yep. I took it off and um, purchased some steel and built my own tray. It's a bit more custom to custom what I wanted, so. Yep. Now I see something here that's... That doesn't come on all, every tray. <laughs> no, no, no. So I had, um, had a bit of space in the headboard, so... Got a tank made up. That's a 35 litre uh, extra tank for the diesel. Yep. That I was speaking about before. Um, so obviously it sits just above the main tank, and it just got a little solenoid 
that yeah. kicks in when you switch the switch inside. And just feeds the main yeah, tank. Just feeds the main tank. Yeah. So handy to get that little bit of extra fuel. Yeah, yeah, well it takes me up to walk from a normal tank the size of 75 litres. Yeah. Just get you out of, just to get you out of trouble. Yep. Uh, anything else about the tray that's uh, yeah, underneath um, underneath the tray I've got a 65 litre water tank. Yeah. Plastic tank underneath with a little pump. Uh, tap there so yep. we've got access to drinking water or washing water whenever you need it. So. Awesome. Alright, well I'm looking at this canopy. Let's have yeah, a bit of this canopy. This is the pride and joy. The pride canopy. and joy. So, well for starters you've got Samson. So yeah, I've got a Samson um, bat wing awning, I guess. Uh, 270 oh, degree sort of thing. Yeah, it yep. goes all the way around, comes it's pretty good. I think it comes out about 2.7 meters out the side. Yeah. Uh, so, um, no, we don't use it that often, but um, when we do, it's quite nice to sit under. What do they like to set up? Yeah, fairly easy. Yep. Yeah, it's going to take probably five minutes to set up. Yep. So probably just the same to pack up. It's not definitely not hard. Now, also, I see up the top here you got a roof rack. Yeah, so put the roof rack on for a bit of extra storage, and we also uh, we do use it every time. So we have our tent. Yep. Up on top, so I've got a um, yeah. cinch pop up tent. Right. So. That's how you camp. No, no yeah. camper trailer. No rooftop tent. No, that's yeah. our primary source of sleeping. Yeah. We also like on a bigger trip, we chuck the spare tire up there, yeah. close to the cab. So yep. Um, even weights instead of having it hanging off the back on the step, which that's what it's designed for. That's yep. not what we use it for. So, yep. Yeah. And um, just put a king's rubbish bag in the Let back. The bag. So that's always a good idea. Always take your rubbish bag. Yeah. Too many people leave their crap behind. Yeah. I get us all shut out one day. Yeah. It's not no, right. I reckon we have a look inside. Where do you want to start? Uh, we'll start in the, uh, the business end, the fridge. Um, tell us a little bit about inside here. Uh, so on the inside, um, just a bit of custom work to the inside. Obviously when I bought the canopy, it was bare. Yep. Um, Who did the canopy? Uh, exact sheet metal in Wangaratta. Right. Um, fellow by the name of Guy. Yep. Yeah, really fantastic job. Um, awesome. I don't think it was extreme pricing yeah. that he did. It was pretty good, fair pricing. So cool. um, it's got so steel frame, yep. all through it, and obviously aluminium sheet on the outside. So it probably weighs around about three three hundred kilos. Yeah, so dry. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, put the tightened drawers in. So we've got a bit of storage there for whatever cutlery, food, yep. um, etc. Custom made another shelf to put in, so instead of just piling everything on top, we have room to stack stuff. Yep. You know, where we need to. So, awesome. um, you know, cooker systems, just a uh, Coleman, we run on normal gas bottles, so you can buy gas bottles yep. anywhere, anytime, any servo. Yep. So, never, never going to be in strife there. Nice and convenient. Yep. Um, and, yeah, once again, Tom hooked us up. Yep. Got North Vic. Um, with the fridge, with the drop slides. Uh, it's pretty handy having Tom as a mate. Yeah, absolutely. So, so yeah, we went with the drop slide just because... MSA hot. is it? Yeah, MSA yep. drop slides. So, um, it's a Waco fridge. Yep. 65 litre, so yeah, works really well. Um, Bit of switch panel up the top. Yeah, so I've got a projector and DC-DC charger um, for another battery that's around the other side of the canopy. Yep. Um, yeah, and we've got obviously you know, lights, lights in here, so we can uh, see what we're doing at night times. So. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll go and have a look around the other side. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, obviously reverse from the other side. So, before I open, I've got like a three-quarter door, so yep. dog box and the rest of the camping side. Yeah. Give um, pooch somewhere to say so they're not annoying you inside. Yeah, that's right. Somewhere um, nice and safe. Yeah, so usually you have our um, recovery box with chainsaw and yep. snatch straps and etc. in there. So I don't have it in there at the moment. Yeah. But yeah, just extra access so you can get the stuff from the other side. Yeah. Not trying to reach over or stuff falling down or whatever. So yeah. yeah. Cool. And um, yeah, the dog box also has in it the second auxiliary battery. Yep. Um, and the uh, Air compressor, the thumb part max air compressor. Yeah. So from King. Yeah. So on our big trip, I had another fridge in here. Yeah. For beers and drinks and stuff like that. They were always stuff. going in and out. So yeah, important stuff. 
<laughs> All right, we've had a bit of a look through. Now it's time for the quick trip. Four questions, quick answer questions that I'm gonna throw at Todd about his ute and we'll get him to answer them. So, Toddy, first question, favorite mod? Uh, definitely the canopy. Yeah. yeah, super handy. Yeah, it's just it's so brilliant just yeah. to take the family away with. Question two, least favorite mod? Uh, to be honest, I don't really have a least favorite mod. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I like everything that I put on. I put a bit of research in before I do, do put stuff on the ute or yeah. do things. So. That way you don't have to do it twice. Yeah, that's right. Question three, if there's one thing on this Tura that you could change, what would it be? Uh, definitely probably put a rear locker on. Yeah. So just um, found with this vehicle, it doesn't quite get the places that yeah. should be able to get. The final question, um, the future. Any future mods or what's the future for the Colorado as a whole? Uh, probably a future upgrade of vehicle. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, eventually looking down the track to get something a bit newer, a bit yeah. updated. So, yeah, something um, that you don't have to work on as much. Yeah, but probably one thing that would be nice is to show you know, where, yeah. Where, yeah. where that happens, like whether it's an alley tray or yeah. something different. Uh, just, uh, Work in progress. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Alright Toddy, thanks for letting us have a look around your Colorado and a bit of a walkthrough. Right, if you like this episode and you want to see more walkthroughs and of adventure rigs, then go and check out just down here. Um, you'll see a playlist for more episodes of our adventure rigs. All right, I'll see you in the next video. I do quite often need to do work on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I think that's a full episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't have enough time. Yeah.